Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another English language lesson for grade 7. And today we want to look at the continuous tense. What do we want to look at? The continuous tense. Let's go. Now there are three forms of continuous tense. Present, past and future. Now the progressive tenses, now don't get confused, whenever you hear progressive tense, we're talking about a continuous tense. So the progressive tenses give the idea that an action is in progress at a particular time. The action can begin before another action, be in progress during another action, or can continue after another time or action. So the continuous forms are used when viewing an action as occurring over a period of time and as incomplete in some way. The continuous tense is formed with the verb be along with the ing form of the verb. Now let's look at the table you have there. You have present continuous, past continuous, and future continuous. Present continuous, let's look what it says. I am reading. The past continuous, I was reading. So you have was and then reading. Future continuous, I shall be reading that story. So you have shall be reading. Second example in the present continuous. She is dancing. She is dancing. So we have is and dancing. In the past continuous, they were dancing. They were dancing. So we have were along with dancing. And in the future continuous, they will be dancing later. They will be dancing later. Now let's look at the present continuous tense. The present continuous, also called present progressive, is a verb tense which is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now either at the moment of speech or now in a larger sense. The present continuous can also be used to show that an action is going to take place in the near future. So currently, I am teaching you. Now, present continuous forms. The present continuous is formed using either am, is, or are. How is it formed? Either using am, is, or are, along with the present participle. Now, questions are indicated by inverting the subject and am, is, are. Negatives are made with the word not. Now, you're probably asking, what, what does sir mean by all of this? Let's look at the examples. So, with the statement, you are watching TV. So, the present continuous are watching let's look at the question are you watching tv so we begin the question with the verb are are you watching so we have are along with watching and the negative case you are not watching tv so we have are the negative word not the ing word watching let's look at some examples you are learning English now. How ironic. You are learning English now. Are learning. You are not swimming now. You are not swimming now. Are not swimming. So this sentence is in the negative. Are you sleeping? 
R, along with the word sleeping. I am studying to become a doctor. I'm studying. I am reading the book Tom Sawyer. I'm reading. Now let's look at the past continuous. The past continuous describe actions or events in a time before now. Mm. So it describes actions or events in a time before now, which began in the past and were still going on when another event occurred. What do I mean by this? They were waiting for the bus when the accident happened. So when the accident happened, they were waiting. Parsons were there. Were waiting. Caroline was skiing when she broke her leg. So was skiing. When we arrived, he was having a bath. Was having. When the fire started, I was watching television. Was watching. And what I love with these examples is that they show us what? Something was ongoing when another event occurred. Look at that connection. Something was ongoing when another event occurred. So when this fire started, what happened? The subject I was watching television. Now let's look at how do we form the past continuous. Now the past continuous of any verb is composed of two parts. The past tense of the verb to be. So the past tense of the verb to be comes in two forms was or were, and the base of the main verb plus ing. So you might have the word like skiing. That comes from the base word ski, and then we add ing. All right? Now we have a table there. Now let's examine the table on your screen. We have subject, was or were, the base word ending in ing. Now they. They is plural. Now, plural subjects must always go with plural verb. They were. You can't say they was. They were because were is plural. Watching. Watching coming from the base word watch. All right. Let's look at the second example. She was. She is singular. Therefore, must go with a singular verb was reading. Reading coming from the base word read. And the other examples follow the same pattern. Now let's look at the future continuous. The future continuous is made up of two elements. The simple future of the verb to be along with the present participle. That is the base word ending in ing. Let me say that again. The future continuous is made up of two elements. The simple future of the verb to be along with the present participle, that is a base word ending in ing. So once again, we have a table subject, the simple future of the verb to be, along with the present participle. You will be watching. Look at that. You, you is the subject of this sentence. The to be form, the simple future of the verb to be, in this sentence is, will be, and then we have the present participle watching, coming from the base word watch. The second example, I will be staying. Subject I will be, and then we have staying, coming from the base word stay. The future continuous refers to an unfinished action or event that will be in progress at a time later than now. The future continuous is used for quite a few different purposes. What do we mean by this? This time next week, I will be sunbathing in Bali. This time next week, I will be sunbathing in Bali, and Bali is in Indonesia. So what does it say? This time next week, I'm going to be doing something that's continuous, sunbathing. By Christmas, I will be skiing like a pro. So by Christmas, when it comes to skiing, I'm going to be excellent at it. He'll be coming to the meeting, I expect. Be coming. He hasn't arrived as yet. 
You'll be missing the sunshine once you're back in England. You'll be missing the sunshine once you're back in England. So once you're back in England, where it's very cold, you'll miss the sunshine, not for just a single period, but for a continuous period. I'll be seeing Jim at the conference next week. So during the conference, I'll be seeing Jim. Now let's complete this exercise. You are going to fill in the blanks with an appropriate continuous form. Are you ready? Let's go. I, an interesting novel now, you have to select which continuous tense form should I insert here? Was reading, am reading, or will be reading? What is your answer? I'm reading. Now, if you said I'm reading, you're correct. I am reading an interesting novel now. Number two, she, with her parents at the moment, was staying, is staying, will be staying. is staying. So this continuous tense form best completes this sentence. She is staying with her parents at the moment. Number three, this time tomorrow we, Raj's birthday. This time tomorrow we, Raj's birthday. We're celebrating, are celebrating, will be celebrating. What is your answer? will be celebrating, that's correct. This time tomorrow, we will be celebrating Raj's birthday. The child for his parents. The child for his parents. And the options are, was waiting, is waiting, will be waiting. What is the answer? Is waiting, that's correct. The child is waiting for his Parents. Number five. I ready when she came. I ready when she came. The options are was getting, I'm getting, will be getting. What is the answer? was getting that's correct i was getting ready when she came number six he in the afternoon he in the afternoon and the options are was leaving is leaving will be leaving what is your answer is leaving that's correct he is leaving in the afternoon let's continue number seven the child soundly and the options are was sleeping is sleeping will be sleeping what is your answer
is sleeping. That's correct. The child is sleeping soundly. Number eight. I, when the lights went out. I, when the lights went out. And the options are, was reading, I'm reading, will be reading. What is your answer? Was reading, that's correct. I was reading when the lights went out. Number nine. The boys in the park when it started raining. The boys in the park when it started raining. The options are were playing, was playing, are playing. What is your answer? were playing that's correct the boys were playing in the park when it started raining number 10 we to mexico next summer we to mexico next summer and the options are were going are going will be going what is your answer Now, are going, or it can even be will be going. Let's read. We are going to Mexico next summer. That's correct. And we can also have we will be going to Mexico next summer. That is also correct. Number 11. The car for a service next week. The car for a service next week. And the options are is going in was going in, has going in. What is your answer? Is going in, that's correct. The car is going in for a service next week. And finally, number 12. Don't phone them now. They dinner. Don't phone them now. They dinner. And the options are were having, are having, will be having. What is your answer? will be having that's correct don't phone them now they will be having dinner now i want to thank you for participating in class today i hope you had a great time learning about the continuous tenses present past and future until we meet again i'm sir jared and i'm out